Breathe, breathe deeply. You see, you see, you're at his level. You're at the level of all of the rest of them. You can do what you want to do, but you have to work it a little bit more. Work it a little bit more. You okay? You're at his level. You're at his level. It's just that you have to take out your plan of action. Execute your plan of action. Okay. 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 And this corner is trying to convince him, see, you can stay in there with him. He's not that much different than you. Whether it's true or not is another matter. <laughs> yeah, because then immediately they ask, are you okay? <laughs> As if there's a question about it. Tell us about the value of working down and up or up and down the way Mayweather has been using his jab so far, Roy. The jab up and down is basically to work the man's hands, make him use his hands to block low and high. That's why Floyd to sneak the right hand in like he just did. So you take that jab and you make him use his jab left, I mean make him use his hands to defend the body shots and the head shots and you can sneak the pop shots in. Marcellus got in one solid left to the body. So far focusing almost exclusively on the body is Priscilla's. Quick left hook by Mayweather. What well, Priscilla's would want to do, like you said earlier, Jim, is extend this fight into a long fight and hopefully he can get some more punches landed because right now Floyd's speed is really killing him. Yeah, Priscilla's is, is not working Floyd enough not putting enough pressure on him to achieve what he wants to achieve over the long course of the fight right no, now. No, he's letting Floyd fight at Floyd's pace and he'll never beat him at that pace. Because Floyd has the quicker hands. Explosive right hand over the top by Mayweather. Now Priscillus tries to bang away to the ribcage inside. Slips the wild left hook. And there's the right hand lead again. Mayweather can land that right hand lead pretty much at will. If you watch Brucellus, just notice that he always falls forward on his left foot because he keeps his weight all on his front foot and that way he cannot avoid the right hand lead like that right there. Most fighters have to set up good power punches. Mayweather's so quick, he can just lead with them. Roy Jones, who used to lead with left hooks, or Muhammad Ali. This is what the artists can do. Whether justifiably or not, Bruselas' confidence seems to rise just a little bit as he makes it through the first two rounds. Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Tune to Inside the NFL. This week's show includes exclusive game highlights of tomorrow's conference yeah, championship games and a look ahead of the upcoming we'll Super Bowl. Tuesday, January 26, catch the or January 25, I should say. Catch the next Real Sports. Among the stories, a profile of broadcaster Joe Buck, play-by-play -play man for both the Super Bowl and the World Series. Next Saturday, Arturo Gatti takes on Jesse James Leha with a 140-pound title belt at stake. Also that night, 154-pound titleist Kasim Uma faces off with Kofi Jantua. And February 19, on the speed of middleweight champion Bernard Hopkins puts his title belts on the line against Howard Eastman, and Jermaine Taylor matches up with Danielle Edouard. How big a threat is Eastman to Bernard Hopkins? Uh, I don't think he's too much of a threat. He's not a bad fighter. Pretty good fighter. Smart fighter. But Hopkins has been impeccable. Through round two, Floyd Mayweather has landed 40 of 84 punches. That's nearly 50%. Rosellis, 15 out of 71. 
throwing 35 punches per round won't get it done for Bruselas, who needs to somehow force a pace that could wear Mayweather down. Hasn't happened yet. Good quick left hook inside by Mayweather. Drove Bruselas into the ropes. And one thing about Floyd, every time he lands a power punch, he's stepping away with his feet. So that he's never there for the return ticket. A very smart thing of him. Yeah, but, it, but also that's why most of his fights in the last few years have gone the distance. So he dominates the fights, but he doesn't really put mean intentions into his punches unless he has the guy hurt badly. Well, the name of the game is to win the fight. Well, right? and, he, and he does it in a beautiful style. I'm not, I'm not critical of it, but I'm just saying that he doesn't really put everything into his punches uh, usually. The name of the game is hit and not get hit. Well, he sure does that well. <laughs> at that, he's the master, right? That's right, and that's what you got to be the master at. But what I like about him is his name of the game is not don't get hit first and hit. He does try to hit first. One point of all this, Roy, is to try to visualize what might happen between Mayweather and Arturo Gatti. Is Gatti sufficiently quicker or more powerful than Bruselas that that would look different? Well, the problem is going to be the speed for Gatti. I don't think Gatti is no quicker than Bruselas, and that's where the problem comes. Because if he can land punches on Mayweather, he'd be good. But he's not as fast as this guy. And I don't know that he would be able to land those big punches on Mayweather, given that he's not as fast a puncher as Mayweather is. Or Bruselas, for that sake. He's definitely the stronger puncher. So Gaddy's strength against Mayweather's speed and fluidity is the essence of that matchup. Yeah, but it's going to be very difficult for Gaddy because it's going to be hard for him to catch him. You know, it's almost like the Evander Holyfield fight that he had last had. The guy he fought was such a quick fighter that he would have been difficult for Evander, even in Evander's prime. Larry Donald. Yeah. And that's the same thing that uh, Gaddy's going to be facing when he fight Mayweather. Now Brazellas manages to trap Mayweather in the corner for a moment and bang a couple of punches off his body. Mayweather grinning at referee Jorge Alonso as he broke them up. As we mentioned, Henry Bruselas of Puerto Rico goes to the corner to listen to Evangelista Cotto, the same trainer who trains his own nephew, Miguel Cotto, regarded by many as the fastest rising prospect in boxing and another of the stars in this weight class. Henry, you gotta work it, man. You gotta move your hands. Throw the jab. Even if you don't hit it, but you gotta use it. You gotta move him. Get him out of the room. Don't try and guess. Don't try and guess when you have to do a good, a good hit or move, good moving. Jab, jab, jab. Get in timing when you did right now. Two jabs on the right. And then you hit him on three. And he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything offensively. That's the door. That's the door that's gonna open the road. There's Miguel Cotto, impeccably dressed tonight. Maturity way beyond his tender years. A boxing businessman from Puerto Rico, unbeaten so far. And maybe down the road he fights Mayweather, Gaddy, Costa Zoo, some of the other stars in this division. Vivian Harris. Harold Leto and how do you have this one through three? Okay, Jim. 30 to 27, three rounds to nothing. Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, Jim, well, he keeps this guy off balance. When Bruselas is looking for the lead left hand, Floyd hits him with a lead right hand, and vice versa. And also, in the third round, Floyd Mayweather started to come over the top with that right hand. And I tell you, he's got a lot of power behind it. Great defense by Mayweather. Bruselas is missing like crazy. Mayweather now going shoulder to shoulder with Bruselas. What's the point here, Roy? Well, now he's gonna start doing some damage to Bruselas. Take some of the fire. I mean, realize the ring is too big to keep moving away from you and give him more confidence. So now he's starting to look to land some bigger punches on Bruselas. This is how he fought Philip Endo in his last fight of 135 pounds. Just hanging in the pocket and tattooing Endo with straight right hands, like that. And that's what he wants to do. He knows he has the advantage of this. No more now, no more! Referee Jorge Alonso 